Oh, damn. <laughs> Fish number five. Fish number five on the Lucky Craft. Super glow sardine. Bobby's fighting another big one. Jeez. It's a donkey. That's on the secret bait. Secret bait, guys. Might show you guys one of these days. This is literally like his next cast on the secret secret bait. Just running. It's running. It's running. Wow. Secret bait in action. Welcome back guys. It's been eight hours since I was here last <laughs> and the reason being is we killed it last night and it's currently uh, 6.05 and I'm gonna use Bobby's secret rig and he said that there might be a chance that he might share it on my channel but I promised him I won't share this rig with you uh, until he says it's okay so definitely stay tuned uh, to see if that really does happen but I respect him not sharing uh, this rig so I'm not gonna share it just yet but I'm gonna use it so you guys can see possibly how effective it is but yesterday did amazing in this spot so we'll see if I can replicate that uh, I just got a couple hours the high tide is coming in about uh, two and a half three hours so we'll see if we can get on them real quick but here's the challenge though the challenge is the only rod I had ready was my trout rod and my trout rod only has six pound test on it so yeah if i hook into a good one i'm gonna have to set the drag all right first cast water's looking real good oh are you kidding me oh yeah that six pound test didn't quite work oh my gosh but <laughs> if you want to see how good this rig works, ah, check out my last video. Oh man, the exact last video before this one. I literally just snapped it. That was like my fourth cast. Oh my gosh. That's great. Great. But I guess it's going to be a lucky craft bite. Hopefully. That's what we're going to go for. But the cool thing is I ended up catching a halibut last week here. And uh, throwing the Lucky Craft, you have the chance to catch multiple, multiple different species. So I'm sorry, guys. We'll, uh, we'll try that again another time because I only had one. Bobby let me tie it on yesterday when we were fishing and I caught two pretty quick. So I know that rig works or that secret bait of his does wonders out here. Yep, fourth cast, snapped my line. That's what you get for using trout line out on the surf. Good thing that bait doesn't cost too, too much. But now I am out of a, a lead and a really nice straight shank hook. Oh well, Let's see if we can get them on the Lucky Craft. Yeah, that was a bummer, losing that rig. But, gotta fish on. Lucky Craft time. Place looks pretty prime for it. So I noticed my braid is really frayed. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but that braid is super frayed right there, especially. So time to cut off that part, probably about two feet up. So there goes two feet less of a uh, line, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Hook up on something good and have that line snap. That'd be terrible. Yeah. So always check your line, guys. If you guys see some irregularities in your line, definitely retie. It's not worth it. It's not worth risking a break off, especially on a $20 lure. All right, I've already spent too much time, I feel, here. And then seeing that sea line more than a few times uh, definitely tells me that uh, either or they're not here or that sea lion is uh keeping them at bay so let's find another spot
That one. Pretty good one. So this is spot number three. So again, guys, the thing is, is if you're not getting them within like the first 10, 20 minutes, always consider just moving. I have a lot of friends up north that that's all they'll do. They'll walk miles and miles. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. All right, first keeper, decent fish. At least we know they're here. That's good news. First keeper of the day, right there. There you go, first keeper of the day. Not as big as we were catching yesterday. So again, you guys gotta check out yesterday's video or the footage from last. It's gonna be the last video that I posted, but. good fish at least we know they're in here perch are pretty much a schooling fish so hopefully there is a, a decent school right here we'll stay on them that was just my second cast into this spot and I'm really liking the wave action there's definitely wave action that's preferable when throwing the lucky crab There you go. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, is this place hot enough to stay? And literally, the next few casts later, I hook up, so fish on. Fish on and he's a good one. And then again, yet another reminder, play them as if you barely got them skin hooked, always. It's better to know that you got them good on all three trebles later on than to horse them in and find out that you barely got them by the skin. All right, good one. And then what's really cool about when you play them like that, especially with the three treble hooks on your bait is sometimes that secondary hook gets them like that on the skin so they're definitely not going anywhere so that's that's a decent fish right there that's a good eater look at that awesome so i guess we'll stay <laughs> moral of the story right when i thought i was gonna possibly leave okay so the lucky craft bite is definitely heating up second one on the lucky craft this is the glow sardine super glow sardine is what it's called precisely, but it actually glows in the dark, which is pretty freaking neat. That last fish didn't hit too far away. It hit maybe a quarter of the way from the end of my cast to me. So that was pretty nice. There you go. This one ate the trebles. Ate it on the pause. Yeah. When, when you pause your bait and they eat it, the likelihood of them getting all the trebles is very, very high. Because that bait's not moving, it's not a moving target. When the target is standing still, they rip it. They hit it hard. So that's one thing to do is every now and then stop your bait when you have a good feeling that maybe something is tracking it, it's almost like a sixth sense. When you feel like your bait is moving really, 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 really good, give it a pause. Give it a pause and see what happens. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, oh, oh. Almost lost him. That pause made him stop and grab it. That's what's up, number three. Third fish of the day on the Lucky Craft. Third fish, third spot. Again, guys, if you're not getting them within the first, I don't know, 20 casts, if you can, move. Use your judgment. You know the topography of the water, and if you have a nice hole in front of you, and you make 
10, 15 casts into it and you don't get anything yet, chances are everything is senior bait. So that's something you guys got to do. And guys, I just got to say, I am feeling so blessed right now to live in a spot that has a really nice bite that's accessible from the car. Being able to just stop and fish, find a new hole, just really maximize is such a blessing. And really, I have my dad to thank for that, <laughs> for choosing my area of California to move to from the Philippines. <sighs> I'm just really taking it in right now. It's, it's a good time. There you go. Got one. Fish on, fish on. Use the wave to help me out. Yep, ate all the trebles. That's what's up. And uh, yesterday's trip, my main goal was to find out if adding a feathered treble to the back of the Lucky Craft helped. And this bait right here has a feathered treble on it. And that's how he ate it right there with the whole treble in its mouth. Definitely not going anywhere. So there's that feathered treble. It looks like it's getting pretty beat up though. Those feathers are starting to come off. Look at that, darn. But that's still a pretty good target right there. Even if most of the feathers are gone, these things have uh, some pretty good teeth. But look at that. That's pretty good. Maybe I can find some more quality feathered trebles. If you guys have a good source for these fe feathered trebles, definitely let me know. I got these on Amazon. If you're interested in these ones, I will leave the link below. Uh, exactly the ones that I got. They're the size 6. Make sure you get the size 6 if you're going to put them on the Lucky Craft. And then I will be up front and say that these hooks, a lot of them came pretty dull, so I did have to sharpen a few. So again, if you guys know of any other ones that are really good, let me know, leave that below in the comments. But if you guys want to try this, uh, it's in the description uh, on the gear that I use. Oh, and uh, everything that you buy from the kit.com store, my store, uh, definitely helps uh, to support this channel. Thanks guys for being along for the ride. Oh, two more casts later, another one. And uh, it's fighting pretty good. Oh gosh, yes. Yes. Play them, gotta play them. Give them a little bit of line, then take it back. <laughs> Use the rod tip. Just got a gain on him. Oh, he's taking some drag. What is this? Oh. Yeah, it's running. Whatever it is. There he is. I see him on the surface. It's another perch, but it's a good size perch. Really good sized perch, guys. Still taking more drag. I don't want to lose this guy. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Oh, that's a monster, guys. That is a monster. Oh my gosh, that is a monster. Oh yes, monster fish. 
That is a monster fish. Oh my gosh. Yes. Monster fish, look at that. On that lucky craft. We're on that bite again, boys and girls. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Fish number five. Fish number five on the lucky craft. Super glow sardine with the feathered tail. And I will say this, there's two guys fishing right here, uh, fishing bait, and uh, I've been holding my own. This Lucky Craft has a really good presentation, and I have to give a lot of credit to the rod and reel I'm using. I just, every, it's almost like every video I have to say it, but I am really happy with the decision I made going with uh, 13 Fishing Concept Z3 with the power handle, 40 pound braid, and this iRod Genesis 2. Fred's cranking rod. It's been putting fish in the cooler. The bite has definitely been heating up, boys. Oh, that was close. Oh, he hit like 10 feet away. Right under that little patch of seaweed. Oh my gosh, this is number six, guys. Number six, bit really close. That was awesome. And it's a decent fish. Man, this has been awesome. And he bit the second treble. That's a first. I don't know if I've seen that. Guys, check this out. This fish must have attacked from the middle under because he actually ended up eating that second treble and got two of the trebles in there. Two of the hooks. Look at that. Wow. The middle one. And it's funny because sometimes people actually remove that second one. And I can see why. I mean, I don't think it would affect the action a lot, but it might. I'm sure, physically speaking, yes. It'll probably affect the action. But that, that second treble, I mean, let me know your thoughts if you guys uh, pull that second treble off or you just leave it. I leave it just so uh, if I get something bigger, I have more chances to put a good hook into them, uh, like a striped bass or another halibut. But, uh, oh yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, check out the halibut video, that was awesome. I'm yet to catch a legal halibut out here, but I have a feeling I will before the season's over. Stay tuned. Bobby, what the heck are you doing? You're fishing the wrong hole. I got six, bro. Huh? I got six. Where? Right here. Right here? Yeah. Why are you fishing this hole? I tried our first one last from last night and nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you go by yourself? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I've been trying to call you. All right, since Bobby's here, you guys will be able to see his rig in action in this video. He texted me last night saying that he's not going to be able to, to come, but that all changed. This guy's out of control, guys. He is a fiend. He wants me to go back at 5 in the morning for another five gallon bucket full of fish he's like it take two hours bob come on you don't need to work no. don't worry about work bob just go catch some fish and i'm considering it since i've brainwashed him three times already <laughs> i'm trying to return the favor and brainwash him back so stay tuned we're coming back tomorrow morning 5 30 a.m 5 30 a.m i'm picking up bobby at his house we're gonna come back we're coming back oh my god get while the getting's good bobby oh my god <laughs> All right, so here's the game plan. Bobby wants to go back to the spot that we fished at yesterday. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to that hot spot that was going nuts yesterday for him. The Lucky Craft didn't do as well over there, but it's okay. At least I'll have my line in the water. It's like, can't beat being out with your line in the water. Move, move, move.
High tide is in one and a half hours. I'm really hoping that we didn't make the cardinal mistake of leaving fish to find fish. <laughs> but it seems like we may have, but we'll see. High tide's in about one and a half hours. So the bike could turn on just like it did in the last video. Bobby's got one on the secret bait. So here it is in action. Right here, guys. Catching up to it, swimming this way. Concentration, right there. No, not a monster. Choked it again though. Well, that's good. That way no one can see it. This is the exact spot I caught that 15 incher yesterday. It was the 20th fish of the day between Bobby and I. Exact spot right here. There you go. Small guy. Yep. Small guy. But number six. Oh, he did it again. Look. Bit that second treble. Wow. I think it's because they've been striking in pretty close. They see it going parallel to the beach and they strike it from the side. You really don't see that often. You usually see them meet the back trebles. That's weird, but cool. Oh, they're close. They're in tight. I just missed one. I just missed one in tight. A good bite, too. There you go. Look, I got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's good. It is good. Oh yeah, he's a good fish. This is a good fish right here. Okay, okay. It's funny because Bobby was like saying that he wants to go back to the spot that we filmed at two videos ago. And right, and he said the same thing yeah, last time we were out here. He was like, okay, I'm thinking about moving. And then when he thinks about moving, the bite ends up picking up and we ended up limiting out on all good big perch. And right now I got a big perch on and uh, it seems like the same quality that we've been getting yesterday. So, oh yeah, that's a good fish. And he ate it, ate it deep. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. On the Lucky Craft. And this time we're actually fishing during the day. The last few times have been after work fishing trips and it was a little dark, so it's kind of nice to fish during the day for once. They're biting it really close to shore. Solid, solid. You caught a bird? Oh my gosh. Look at, look at what you just caught. What a good angler. Is that a snowy plover? Yeah. I don't know how it's wrapped. Is it like this? It's a beautiful bird. I know, but is that it? Yeah, it's wrapped around that way. There we go. There, there he goes. It was a little bird. Yeah, if it was a seagull, that would have been lame. Because because you only have eight pound tests. And even if I'm catching them really close to shore, I still like bombing it out as far as I can cast, just in case there's other species out there that might want to take a nab at it. Wow, the water's really clear. Oh yeah, 
We doubled up. Bobby and I just doubled up, I think. Yep, that one bit really close to shore too. Yeah, we did double up. I think mine's a little bigger though. Number seven. Number seven. Well, eight with yours. <laughs> All right, so we're doing it again. Leaving fish to find fish. We're gonna go back two videos ago. <laughs> One more move. And it's about an, hour, about an hour till high tide. Almost exactly an hour till high tide, so we should be able to mop them up over there too. It's been really good. Spot number, uh, what, what number is this spot? I think number five. We'll see if we can uh, land some hogs right now. We're not getting the size that we were getting uh, compared to the last video, but we got them, but I think we're, we're really hungry for those big ones. We are moving one more time. We're moving back to where I caught a good few on the Lucky Craft, so hopefully that's good. All right, so we moved back to that spot where I was nailing them. And Bobby's got a different bait on this time. So hopefully we get some different results for Bobby. Lot Soup, what's up, dude? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's right here, say hello. Oh, hi, hi. Going fishing with daddy, huh? Oh yeah, she got her boots on and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out a little bit. Yeah, heck yeah, I'm dude. Squeeze in there. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there later, though. Yeah. Go. Check out that spot. That spot. I somebody caught a, a halibut here. Me. That was you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Check out the video, bro. Yeah, I wanna check. So that's my buddy Lot. He comes out here a lot. No pun intended. Finally. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not on the secret bait, but. Not on, on Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Heck yeah. Tell him we knocked him here last night. No, I didn't. You didn't. No. Nope. Good one, bro. There you go. Got one. Ooh. Got one. Right, guys first one at our return to this spot it's a good one too really good one. Oh, that is a good one oh very good monster monster fish heck yeah lucky craft Bobby's got a good one look at him running running to the side you know when you got a good one when they're moving. Oh yeah, he's got a good one on. He's got a real good one on. Oh yeah. Solid. <laughs> big. That's still big, dude. been probably 20 minutes since my last bite and then I just got one on right now oh man it's been the bite has definitely been better in the evenings out here oh he's a good one he's a good one that's a good perch right there that is a good perch He does not want to come in. Jeez. There he is. Oh. 
Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Swallowed the travel hooks. Gosh. Yeah, that was that was probably 15, 20 minutes until I got that fish. We're spoiled. When 20 minutes is a long time between fish, huh? There's been days that we've gone out here and have gone hours between the fish, so I should definitely be grateful. Oh, well, there goes all the feathers. Feathers are gone. No more feathers on that treble hook, so. In terms of longevity, they're not very durable. And of course, they're probably not made for surf, surf perch, but it was good while it lasted. Lasted almost two trips, but now there are literally no feathers left on this treble hook. The evening bite is definitely better. Oh, sh oh, sh yeah, yeah. Well, dude, the, the day before at pole two was real. Oh, my gosh, this is a good fish. I was surprised. I was just telling Bobby that the the bite the bite's better at night, but this fish wanted to prove me wrong, whatever it is. Oh, that is a good fish. Stay on, stay on. It's all right. Hooked him in the head. Oh, that's why he was swimming so crazy. He doesn't like that feeling, but it's a beautiful fish. It's another one. Very awesome. Just slaying them, guys. It's getting to the point where it's like ridiculous. Slaying these guys. Bobby's fighting another big one. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. Wow. Jeez. It's a donkey. That's on the secret bait. Secret bait, guys, might show you guys one of these days. But I won't, I won't make him. He's got to show it when he's ready. This is literally like his next cast on the secret, secret bait. Just running. It's running. It's running. Wow, secret bait in action right there. There you go. Same spot Bobby just caught that last one on. I decided to move in while he put that fish away and I am connected, connected. Should be a decent fish too. Should be decent. Oh, it's it's all right. It's all right. Got him in the corner of the lip right there. And this is a good time for a quick commercial break. If you guys are in the market for a new or used vehicle, ask for Edward at Honda of Santa Maria. Secret bait putting in work. All in this spot. Whoa, 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 whoa! I know, I saw that. Something just chased a bunch of bait in front of us, guys. I don't know what that was. Oh, please, one of these days, I'm gonna catch a striper. It's just a matter of time when you're throwing a lucky craft as much as I do. We're gonna get something one of these days. Already got a halibut, but a striped bass is what I want. Catching one of those in my home water would be really epic. But yeah, just watching all those anchovies just come up right now. They're either anchovy or smelt. I think they're smelt. Oh! Woo! That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Stay on, stay on. Stay on. 
Stay on. Just right there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. That's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Ate the middle treble again. They're always eating that middle treble. That's crazy. They're like hitting it from the side. They're going perpen not uh, they're going parallel to the beach. It's a good one. On the lucky craft. Another good one. It's yeah, I told you, bro, it's the grand slam. Smash the perch, then go smash the bass. I'm giving you like four hours to go home and do your chores. I'm gonna go home and do some work, and then we're gonna go to Lopez. <laughs> you want the fish? That's what it takes. Oh my god. I gave you the whole bucket last night. Fair is fair. Bobby's ridiculous. I am. I am. I'm ridiculous. ridiculous. Oh. Alright, to be continued. Thanks for joining guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Grand slam.